Okay, we're going to have another go at doing this tutorial about how to bring drawings uh, from AutoCAD into Photoshop so that we can uh, render them in Photoshop. And we do that by printing the, the AutoCAD drawing as a PDF. Now I'm just going to demonstrate how to do it and how to set up an A1 size sheet. And the reason I'm doing it is because the last time I did it a couple of weeks ago, I made a few mistakes and there were a couple of errors actually blatantly obvious in the video and I didn't pick up on them. And uh, Anyway, it's a little bit annoying. Uh, I know it's a little bit late for some of you because you've already submitted your portfolios, but next time around, we just make sure we have the technique down right. So the first thing I do is I've got my AutoCAD file open and we can see in front of us here, we've got my version of the pottery plan. Now I'm gonna save it at two different scales uh, as PDFs. So to do that, uh, and you can see that uh, my line weights are correct. They look like they're correct, red is heavy. Um, yellow is medium, green is light, blue is dotted. So I'm going to plot it. And uh, I'll choose just the previous plot style to save a bit of time. So uh, on an A4 sheet of paper, which you can see here, at a scale of 1 to 100, with the plot style selected and the correct window, I'm going to do preview. Preview looks good and I'm going to print it. Now I'm just going to write over a previous version of the one that I had for the previous um, tutorial. So it'll be named Pottery Plan 1 to 100 A4 because it is a pottery plan. It's on an A4 and it's at a scale of 1 to 100. So I save it and away it goes. So now that one's saved. Now I'm going to plot it a second time. This time, I'm going to plot it on an A3 sheet of paper, if I can actually see this goddamn small writing. It's A3, and I'm going to plot it at a scale of 1 to 50. Uh, I have the right plot style selected. Choose the window. Window's good. Choose a preview. Preview's good. Hit plot. And I'm going to save it as, uh, I'm just going to overwrite a previous one, use the same name, Pottery Plan, Scale 1 to 50, Sheet A3, Save. And I've done all my plans. Okay, so that's the first part of it done. The second part is, when I'm in Photoshop, I have to be, when we're starting out in Photoshop and we turn on the software for the first few times, and we look at the screen and we just see this you know, white screen and we do all the fancy Photoshop stuff and it's working all brinkly. We never really think very much about the sheet size, but we have to think about the sheet size. You must select the sheet size, the correct sheet size for your drawing when you're working in Photoshop. Otherwise, when it comes time to print, you're gonna be very surprised. The, the, the sheet's gonna be the wrong size or the scale is gonna be wrong or you're gonna look at it and say, that is not what I was expecting. And usually when we're starting out, it's because we weren't thinking about what size sheet we were working on. So if we say to you that we want uh, your presentation to be made on Friday on an A1 sheet of paper, that means that you must do your work in Photoshop on A1. So how do I do that? Well, it means that when I open Photoshop and I choose uh, File New and the dialog box comes up, instead of just clicking Create because we're all excited about working in Photoshop, we didn't even think about it, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time this time and look at uh, some of the options I have over here to um, resize my sheet. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm working in millimeters and not pixels. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is, now that I'm in millimeters, I'm going to type in the size of an A1 sheet, which is, I'm going to put it in, what did I do? I put it in landscape. So that's 841, 841 by, whoops, 841 by uh, 594, uh, 594, and yet my eyesight is going to the dogs, 594 by 841, and I'm not gonna change any of these other settings here, could, but not today. So I hit create, and there we go, up comes my A1 sheet. Now, of course, it just looks like any old white triangle, but you got to accept that it is an A1 sheet of paper. Now, I'm also simultaneously going to open up a brand, another brand new document to work on, but this time 
I'm going to deliberately make an A4 sheet. And I'm going to make the A4 sheet 297 by 210. Uh, I'm going to put it in its um, landscape orientation as well. Uh, and I'm going to hit create and it creates it. So here's my A4, here's my A1, here's my A4. People are going, they're the same. Well, no, they're not. This is actually an A1 sheet. I'm just further out. You know, I've sort of scrolled out, zoomed out so that it fits onto the screen. And this is an A4 sheet and I've zoomed further in so that it just fits onto the screen. And I'll demonstrate how this works. So on my A1 sheet, now my next task is to bring in the drawings um, that I was working on in AutoCAD so that I can render them nicely. And I'm gonna do that by choosing Place Embed. And the first one I'll take is the uh, 1 to 50 and a dialog box comes up and I'm not going to change any of the settings. That's, you know, we can talk about that another day. Uh, just stick to the basics. I'm going to click OK and in it comes and I'm going to press enter and the job is practically done. Now, first thing, when we bring in a drawing, a PDF into Photoshop and we look at it from this distance, we go, that looks pretty ugly. Now, what you do is, is you scroll in and you discover that actually uh, it doesn't look so bad at all. All the line weights are there and uh, it looks about right. So that's the first thing. Second thing is people get all excited about the fact that the student version lettering is still on the drawing. And uh, the way to get rid of that, not because we want to behave in any way illegally, but just because we want to do a nice rendering, is we choose, we select the layer, right click, go to rasterize so that means when I rasterize it it means I can work with it so I'm going to keep that layer selected go to the uh, selection box tool over here and uh, drag a box over the text and hit delete drag a box over this text hit delete and do the same thing a fourth time okay so now I'm good to go I'm ready to shift D I'm ready to uh, I'm ready to render that drawing and make it look real nice. So I have my 1 to 50 version of the drawing. Um, now I'm going to bring in my 1 to 100 version of the drawing. So I choose File, Place in Bed, choose the 1 to 100 uh, drawing, not change any settings and click OK. In it comes, hit Enter, and you can immediately see that it's the exact same drawing that we were working on in AutoCAD but this is the 1 to 50 version, and this is the 1 to 100 version. Now, for the sake of form, I'll just get rid of that text by rasteri rasterizing the layer, choosing the box selection tool, delete the text. There we go. Now, now what I've done is, is I've set up an A1 sheet which is what was required of me, which is what I'm going to be printing out on. And I have done my drawing in AutoCAD and I have brought the drawing from AutoCAD into Photoshop at the correct scale. It's the correct scale, provided I don't stretch it or distort it in any way. The drawing's at the correct scale. So don't grab the handle and start moving it around. Leave it exactly the way you found it when, it came, when, it came, when uh, you imported it and everything's just going to be fine. Okay, so this is the A1 sheet. Let's go back to the A4 sheet. If I go back to the A4 sheet, lest you're not convinced that this piece of paper is not the same size as the other, let me demonstrate. So let's say I want to import uh, my one of my drawings into this sheet of paper. I'm gonna go down and go place in bed, and I'm gonna to go to the pottery plan, one to 100, which you remember, we printed onto an A4 sheet in AutoCAD. So I click on that, click place, and select OK in the dialog box. And as you can see, it takes up that tiny, tiny drawing takes up the entire A4 sheet. So this is why it's important for us to remember what scale we're working at, uh, what scale we're working to, and what sheet size we're working on. A1, A4. One last thing before I go. Oh, and sorry, there is an important thing about this is that if you are working on an A1 sheet in in Photoshop and you bring in drawings that you made that you printed onto A4 or A3 in AutoCAD when you import them in 
they'll import very nicely and your scale will always be correct. The problem is, is when the AutoCAD sheet is larger than the Photoshop sheet. So if, for example, I saved um, a 1 to 50 drawing on an A3 sheet in AutoCAD and then I open up an A4 document in Photoshop and I try to bring the A3 into the A4, that's the mistake I made the last time. It distorts the scale. Now, it mightn't be that it distorts, distorts the scale at all. Maybe it's just that I'm doing it incorrectly. But uh, until I find out what it is that I'm doing wrong or how to get around this or if there's a workaround, just always remember that the Photoshop sheet should be larger than your AutoCAD sheet. It's just a safe little way of re remembering how not to go wrong. Okay, so uh, hopefully that explains that. And then the last thing I'm going to do, because it's come up a couple of times, is some folks complain that when they get their drawing into, let's say, the uh, A3 drawing, uh, sorry, the 150 drawing here, they get the drawing into Photoshop, and they say um, the line weight's too light. Now, uh, in this particular instance, line weight isn't light. When we print this, it's going to look pretty good. Now, my strong recommendation to students is if your line weights aren't correct, don't start correcting them in Photoshop. Correct them in AutoCAD. Keep experimenting in AutoCAD with different line weights until you have the line weights that you want. Because if we have if we do our line weights correctly in AutoCAD, they will remain consistent across all drawings in Photoshop. However, sometimes we don't have that much time to uh, you know, we don't have that much time to experiment and, you know, the presentation's coming up and the printer's telling us if you don't print now, you're going to miss your deadline and so on. Uh, and you're under a lot of pressure and your line weights aren't right. There is a workaround, which I highly recommend against using. But if you have to use, if you have to do it the wrong way, this is the, this is the right way to do it the wrong way. If you get me, choose the layer that we're concerned about. In this case, it's the 1 to 50. Make sure it's highlighted. Uh, go down to the effects button choose stroke and then just making sure that uh, the it's better if you have the uh, this um, drop down selected to outside then I can just use the slider and you can see I can make the lines heavier to the point where they're no use but uh, you can sort of gradually make them just a tiny bit heavier if you want so that the drawing is a little bit more punch only do this, I'm going to select OK and zoom out and you can see it has sort of uh, punched up those lines. Only do it if you're desperate and you've no time. It's not a good habit to get into because what happens is, is if you start doing it this way and start adjusting each separate drawing on your Photoshop sheet um, individually, your line, your line work on your sheet is going to start looking, it's going to start looking very, very uneven. So uh, only if you're desperate. Okay, and then after you've done that, just save it, save it out as JPEG, and um, print. Okay, sorry about the last time. That's it.